Hey guys, I have another spooky story for you, but this spooky story is from this part of the world where I'm at right now. Mexico, Central America, and South America has the same legend. Now, I don't know why that is, because <laughs> usually legends start in one place and they kind of like, you know, they, 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 they originate in one place and you hear about them. But for some reason, this is a traveling legend, you know? Many people, even where I'm at, claim that it's a true story and that they've come across this spirit. The spirit of La, Ro La Llorona. Who? <laughs> and my American accent is La Llorona. But from what I understand of Spanish, the LL is Ya. So it's La Llorona. As close as I can get to it anyway. <laughs> anyway, my name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, pass it on to anybody and everybody who would like it to, and leave us a positive comment in the comment section. Also, if you have time, stick around because I have pulled up two of my favorite comments to comment on after I finish telling you this spooky legend. Also, if you would like to get a reading done, please email me. If you would like to get in contact with me, all of my information, anything you need to know about me is underneath this video. Okay? All right, so La Llorona. This is a very interesting story. Now, some of you probably saw the movie because there is a movie, um, but this is an old, old, old story. This goes all the way back. People have been telling me different versions of it all the way back to like 17, 1800s. So um, I'm listening to it from modern times. So they're telling me at least that far back. So let me tell you about this story. My friends in Costa Rica told me that this story is one that your parents tell you to scare you into being a good child, okay? So it's a little bit suspect. I'm like, did these old ladies make this story up? But let me tell you what happened. So according to legend, depending upon which version you hear, there was this woman, this La Llorona, and she was said to be a very beautiful young girl. She married a man. You know, they had a great relationship. She had two children for him. Well, sometime after the kids got a little older, I think they might have been like, it depends on who tells the story, but the kids are still little, no older than maybe eight or nine years old. And sometime around then, the husband starts to have an affair. So La Llorona La, La is, you know, distraught. You know, most women are, you know, most men would be. Who, who wouldn't be distraught? You found out your, the person that you were deeply in love with has been cheating on you with somebody in the village, you know? And most of us would feel some type of way about it, depending upon if you love that person. And she did love him deeply and was very serious and very into her marriage. Well... Homeboy was messing around. She found out he left her. He left her and the kids to go be with this other woman. Now, some sources say that he did still help her with the children. He was still interested in the children. And other sources say that he completely just left. It depends on who tells the story. But the story I was told was that he was still helping with the children and he was still giving her money for them and he was coming to get them and still parenting his kids. Well, according to this, she snapped. She snapped. It, it was a couple weeks, couple months, whatever, and she finally just snapped. And she drowned both of her children in the river. There was a, every, every place has a local river or a local stream or something like that. And this little village, there was a stream nearby. And uh, they said it was a river. There was a river nearby. And she drowned both of her children in the river. And their bodies were swept away with the current. 
when she realized what she had done, because like she was out of her mind, and she only did it because she was angry and jealous that he was still, you know, coming to get his kids, still showing love for his kids, but not showing any love for her. He had completely just wrote her off, you know. Um, and she, when she realized that what she had done, she started looking for her children frantically, trying to find them. And of course, their bodies were gone. They had been swept away. So she drowned herself and joined her children. So normally, this would be the end of the story. Poor lady dies, poor kids, say some prayers, slow singing, flower bringing, you know, and life has to go on. But not in this case. According to the legend, now this supposedly happened in a city in Mexico, according to most people's accounts. But people throughout this part of the world have claimed to come across her restless spirit. According to legend, she will lure children to go with her. She's still looking for her children. So they said that she goes by rivers, streams, water sources, looking for her children. And if she finds children there or, you know, kids around, she said to take them. She drowns them in the river and takes them with her. Now, according to the legend, the part for kids, is that if you're good and you listen to mommy and daddy, la 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 la, <laughs> I still can't get that rolling tongue right. But if you listen to your parents, she will not take you. She only takes disobedient children in some versions of the story. And some versions, she'll take any children, okay? Now, this is the creepy part. I told you guys this legend has always been around bodies of water. I've even heard some people by the beach talk about it. And according to what they're telling me, she can be heard wailing, crying, screaming for her children. People said they've been by the river, they've been by the stream, they've been, you know, by the beach even, and heard a woman wailing. Some people said they saw her. They said she wears a white dress and a veil. Some people said they've seen her. Some people say they just heard her crying. Some people hear her screaming out names of kids. And these are people who are just average modern people like me and you. So her legend continues on. And even though it's mostly in this part of the world, it became a movie. And once it became a movie, you know, they Hollywoodized it, you know, and stuck it out there and now it's all over the world. So the, the details change depending upon who you're talking to, but that is the basic gist of the story. And to be honest with you, I think it's just a, a tale that somebody made up, but the people who claim to have seen her or who claim to have heard her crying were terrified. So it really does make me wonder, what's the real truth? So tell me, have you heard this legend? Are you one of the people who's heard her wailing or crying? Thank God I haven't. It's said to be bad luck if you do. So thank God I have not. All right, let's take a look at some positive comments. Let's get some palate cleanser going on here. AE left us a message. AE said, I get to be me and me is fine. I don't have to be you. Quote of the year for me. Yeah, you should be you. You shouldn't be aspiring to be another person. <laughs> that person is that person. You're supposed to aspire to be yourself. One thing I'm going to tell you guys I hate. I have had women try to copy my style. Now, it's one thing if they like my hair and they lock their own hair. You know, that's, 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 I don't own locks, you know. But I've had cases in my lifetime where people will go buy the same thing I bought. This one girl, I'll never forget, I bought these sneakers. 
and she kept asking me about my sneakers. The next time I saw her, she had on the same sneakers. And I was like, okay, that's pretty normal. She liked my sneakers. A couple weeks later, I saw her again, and my mother had just bought me an acid washed jacket. It was my first one. Acid wash jacket, an acid wash hat, and a pair of acid wash jeans. She was like, oh, I love your outfit. Where did you get that? The next time I saw her, she had on the same outfit. It was creepy. <laughs> it happened one time too many. I stopped hanging out with her. Stuff like that. That's that kind of stuff you see on movies like Single White Female and The Roommate and stuff like that. Mm -mm. Don't try to be me, boo-boo. <laughs> Mm -mm. Don't be that obsessed with me. Be yourself. If you like something I got, that's fine. But throw your own flair into your life. You know, don't ever be a carbon copy of any other person. Your uniqueness is what makes you special. Devin. Hey, Devin. Devin said, sis speaks facts. I'm sis. That's me. <laughs> sis speaks facts. Notices the 100% thumbs up. What I've noticed is people tend to envy the Aquarius easygoing nature about things. Yeah, we're unbothered when we want to be. We also have a unique way of analyzing situations and making the complicated very simple. Everything he said is 100% true. Everything, every last bit of that. And people get mad at us about that. Some people like that about us. And some people, you know, try to incorporate that into their own life. And other people get mad at us. And they're like, well, you just don't care. How many times have I heard, oh, you just don't care? Oh, I care, but I'm not going to let you stress me out. <laughs> is the bottom line. All right, guys, come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.